Hey everyone, step right up. Have a free copy of my book, The Late Great Planet Earth. Jesus is coming back soon, man. And you don't want to miss out. Thank you, sir. I'll pray for you. Man, there's sure a lot of people coming to Jesus because of this book. Wonder what things will be like in the next few years. Hey, Israel became a nation only around 30 years ago. We can see Jesus come back in less than 10 years. Groovy. Yep, here we are, April 1973. And there's the guy I'm looking for. Hey, Hal, come here a second, hop on. Say, this is one slick machine, man. Where's it taking us? To a meeting with you, you, and you. Like, what did you say? You'll see. Okay, here we are. It's 2013. Have a seat at the empty chair over there, Hal. Now let me introduce everyone. The new guy is Hal Lindsay from the year 1973. Over here is Hal Lindsay from the year 1986. This is Hal Lindsay from the year 1997. And Hal Lindsay from the year 2010. Now I'd like to ask you all some questions. Uh, hey, wait a minute. What's this all for anyway? Let's just say it's a learning experience. Okay, what I want each of you to do, in your chronological order, is tell me what you see ahead for the world in terms of prophecy. How from the 70s? Oh man, like, things are gonna get serious soon, you dig? The European common market will probably be the basis of future ten-nation confederation predicted in Revelation, you know? It's gonna stop a communist world takeover before things get really rough. Ezekiel 38 tells us that Russia's gonna invade Israel. The word Meshach means Moscow, you know. Also, Israel's gonna get fabulously wealthy from selling minerals from the Dead Sea. That's gonna get really bad in the end. So there's gonna be a move to make Jerusalem the religious center of the world and rebuild the ancient temple. Not only that, the American economy and military will collapse. There's even gonna be nuclear weapons used in some war, too. Ha. Huh. What a crock. Sure screwed that one up, kid. Like... What did you say? I said, you screwed up. Now one of those things you guessed at came to pass. Well... Bummer. Never said it was anything like infallibly right. Yeah, well, that was one prediction you sure got correct anyway. Okay, now, Hal from the 80s, what do you see ahead? Well, as you know, I wrote a book to describe what I think will happen. I truly think we're on a countdown to Armageddon. Why, the 1980s could very well be the last decade of history as we know it. You know, for example, that in 1982, the Jupiter effect is likely to cause worldwide natural catastrophes. And then we have computers and things like bank cards coming to pass. Ah, they're efficient. They also make it easier to steal your money. I think the only way they'll be able to keep people from stealing your money is to put a tattoo on you. Definitely a prelude to the Mark of the Beast. Politically, there's a lot at stake. With the price of oil going up, the oil-rich nations will soon be able to buy us out. And then we have Russia's invasion of Afghanistan. This is definitely Russia's first step into the pages of Ezekiel chapter 38. It's also a sign of the growing influence of communism in the world. Look at all the countries that have communist regimes. Uh... Yes? Sorry, but... By my time, Russia's been overthrown and a lot of those communist regimes are gone. Looks like Russia's gonna attack Israel as a rogue military power instead. Oh! Uh... Plus, the European Union is about to ratify Greece as its tenth member. Oh, man! So I did get that right! Not yet, you didn't. And my dad has 27 members. Oh, Bummer. Yes, but don't worry. Eventually it's bound to have just 10 in some way or another. Like maybe consolidation of member nations. Yeah, because even when you're wrong, you're gonna be right. Right? Not this time either. You screwed up too, you young pup. Say what? I didn't stutter. Not one of your predictions came true either. Amateur.
Okay, next up. 90s, Hal. You've been pretty quiet. What have you got to say? Okay, well, these guys didn't know about this, but global warming is going to have a big impact on our weather, and that's a sign of the end times for sure. What? Oh, you idiot! Don't you realize that a belief in global warming is an example of one of the strong delusions Paul predicts people will fall for in 2 Thessalonians 2.10? In my time, the theme is, if the truth hurts, change the truth till it doesn't. Yeah, and you could say the same of means of prophetic fulfillment and use it as your ministry motto, couldn't you? Well, guys, I think we've learned something here today, haven't we? We have? Like... what? That when it comes to exegesis of the text, you guys are simply too adept at sticking your finger into the air to detect some sort of event or prediction that might support your exegesis. That's why your predictions keep changing so radically because your exegesis is governed by externals alone and not with any regard for context. Now she here, I may have been wrong before. All those other times. Yes, but you saw the way people in Europe reacted to Barack Obama. They're ready for someone like him who's a mesmerizing speaker, the Antichrist. Like, who's this Barack Obama? Why, he's a forerunner of the Antichrist, son. Mark my words, it's a sign of the times. Who's that dude? I am Hal 2020. I come from ten years in this future, and you are all wrong. And I'm going to kick all of your backsides for it. Well, I sure didn't predict that one coming. <laughs>